Hello everyone, welcome to the lesson Area Approximation KCC 2019 Paper 1 Question number 23. The question reads, the shaded region on the graph below shows a piece of land ABCD marked for the spelling mistake there, marked for building a sub-county hospital. So there we have um, the diagram, the region is uh, indicated there, so let me just take it closer. So there it is. Uh, you can see the scale. Uh, two centimeters represent uh, 200 for X and Y axis. Uh, let's go to the question below there. Uh, part A of the question. Write down the ordinates of curves AB and DC for X is equal to 0. 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000, and 1200. So we're supposed to write um, the ordinates of these two curves. So let's go to the diagram and look at uh, curve AB and curve DC. So as you can see from the diagram, we have curve AB, that is the one that is below, then DC. So we're supposed to write the ordinates. Uh, how do we write these? Uh, we require to construct such kind of a table where we shall have the x-axis that is uh, running from 0 all the way to 1,200, then the ordinates of AB, then the ordinates of DC. So let us start with uh, the curve AB, and this is how you're going to fill it. So when x uh, is 0, we just read uh, the value of the ordinate on that curve AB. So when x is 0, you read this value that is here on curve AB. We're going to start with curve AB. What is the ordinate of that curve? So not the scale, one centimeter here, two centimeters represent uh, 200, therefore one centimeter will represent 100, and that means that one small square will represent, um, this will be 100 divided by, it will be 20, 100 divided by five, that will be 20. So one small square will represent 20. So this one is exactly at a 200. So when x is equal to zero, we fill that one as the first one. So when x is equal to zero, we fill that. So the, the first ordinate here will be 200. So let me use a different pen here. So this one will be 200. What about when x is 200, when x is 200, very first. So let's go back there. So when x is 200, so 200 is here. So read uh, the corresponding y value that should lie on that curve, and this is the point. So this is uh, 220, 240. So that one will be 240. So this one, we write it 240. When x is uh, 400, do the same. Next is 400. So when x is uh, 400, that is uh, 400. Then y, we are going to read this value here. Uh, this value is, um, is 200. So we have how many squares? Let me count. We have uh, from 200, you have 220, 240, 260, 280. So that one will give uh, 280. So that will give 280, like that. So 280. Then when uh, x is 600, when x is 600, And x is a 600, the same. So just come and read, this is 600. So read this value that is here. So that one is uh, exactly 300. That is 300. And x is 800. We go to 800 now. And x is 800. We have 800, um, so 
you read this value that is here twenty that will be two hundred and eighty that is two hundred and eighty very important to note the scale that one small square represents twenty so that will be at eight hundred that is a two hundred and eighty then we can go for a thousand now an x is a thousand when x is a thousand when x is a thousand is a thousand you read this ordinate on that curve and thousand that will be 240 240 so that one is 240 be 240 and then the last one when uh, it is 1200 1200 1200 is there read these so 1200 that will be 200 exactly 200 so you feel that that is uh 200 so that is uh, basically how you're supposed to uh, write down the ordinates of AB from the graph. So for the ordinate of DC, we'll do the same. So for the interest of time, you just fill the first one that lies on uh, curve DC, and then you can fill the others. So for DC, we're going to start from zero. So you just fill that, and then the rest, I'm going to fill them very fast. So look at the curve DC, the one at the top. So when x is 0, uh, this is the value. You're going now to read the ordinates that lie on that curve DC. So that is what you're going to read. Then when it is 200, uh, 200 is here, you're going to read the corresponding y value. That is 1. When it is 400, x is 400, the ordinate on that curve again. So that is what you're going to do. So like the first one, when x is 0, y is so you just read that that will be 400 that is exactly 400 so that is when x is 0 and x is 0 when x is 0 this will be 400 so i will fill the others very fast so you'll just follow the same procedure and fill all the others so the other one i'll just fill it very fast i already done this so this will be for 500 then we have a 580 this is what you'll get 580 then the other one will be 600 then followed by 580 when it is a thousand you get again 580 and then the last one will be 640 so that is the same procedure that you follow and uh, those are the values of the ordinates that you'll be able to get now after doing that um now we go to the second question we've answered the first question write down the ordinates of curve ab and dc we've written that now use the trapezium rule that is a question part b now we're in question part b question part b use the trapezium rule with six strips to estimate the area of the piece of land a b c d in hectares so the trapezium rule the trapezium rule how many strips with six strips so already if you look at these intervals from 0 to 200 that is one strip from 200 to 400 that is another strip from 400 to 600 that is another strip so in total these will be there will be six strips so that is the first strip the second strip the third strip the fourth strip the fifth strip and the sixth strip so there are six strips so one uh, one thing that you're supposed to know is um how do we use a trapezium rule? How do we write trapezium rule? The formula, very important. So the trapezium rule goes like this. So area, trapezium rule is given by half height, and then uh, put the larger brackets. Then you have uh, the first, which is y0, plus the last, then plus twice, or the middles. Or the middles. So 
so this is um, the trapezium rule half times the height of the width then the first and the last that is the first is y0 the last is yn plus twice the middle values so in this case um y0 i'll just uh, write here so y0 is here this is y0 this will be y1 this one will be y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 so if i now write the trapezium rule using these uh don't forget the the height the height is the interval that is from 0 to 200 200 to 400 so you can see the width is uh, 200 from 0 to 200 200 to 400 and so on so to be a half height then y0 plus according to these then the last one is y6 plus twice the sum of the middles the sum of the middle I forgot to write this the sum of the middles and uh, the middle are beginning from y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5 so that is the trapezium rule half height the first plus the last plus the sum of the middles so that is how it's supposed to so our work is just to substitute and uh, there's one thing that is supposed to know when you look at this uh, diagram here when you look at this figure to get the area of the shaded part that is uh, a b c d we shall get it into we shall divide that into two parts first there is the area under uh, the curve dc then there is area under the curve ab so in order to get the shaded area that is a b c d we shall get the area under the curve dc then we subtract the area under the curve ab that is what is going to give the area of the shaded part so the area under uh, curve dc so let me read this so this is how we're going to get it so the area the area of a b c d will be given by the area under the curve a b no not a b but dc the one that is at the top is dc subtract the area under the curve a b so this is how we're going to get the area of the shaded part that is the area a b c d so we get the area under dc the area under dc just take you back to the figure again so the area under the curve dc then subtract the area under the curve a b so that is how we're going to get it so we shall get the area therefore into parts the area in two parts so let me jump down here so uh, we start by getting the area the area under dc the area under dc that is the one that you're going to get so this one we get it by the area is given by a half times the height which is uh, 200 the brackets then the first the first we go back to the table we shall use this table so look at the ordinates of dc so y0 will be 400 and then the last one will be 640 so that will be 400 it is here 400 so this one will be 400 plus 640 400 plus 640 so 400 plus 640 so this one is a 400 plus 640 then plus twice the sum of the middles the sum of the middles so let us go and identify the middles so the middles are starting from uh, this point from 500 580 600 
580 580 so we add all those together so i'll add those ones so adding those so we have uh, 500 plus 580 plus 600 plus 580 plus 580 so those are the middles so working out these you get a half multiplied by 200 then this will be 400 plus so this will be 1040 plus twice if i add 500 plus 580 plus 600 plus 580 plus 580 that will give uh, 2840 so this will be half multiplied by so this will be 100 half multiplied by 200 then um this will be 1040 plus plus uh, two times the uh, 2840 will be 5680 like that now working out these is a calculator 100 uh, multiplied by 1040 this will give um, 672,000 672, meters squared so that is the area under DC now the next thing that we need to do is to get the area under uh, AB the area under AB so let, let us get the area under AB now very fast so area under AB area under AB using the same same rule trapezium so area will be given by a half times the width is still the same the width is still the same now let's go to the table and read um, the first and the last so look at now the ordinates of AB uh, the ordinates of AB we have the first one is 200 or is 0 then the last one is 200 then the middles are 240 280 uh, 300 280 and 240 so look at them the first one 200 the last is uh, 200 then the sum of the middles 240 up to 240 so that is what i'm going to substitute in that formula so very first so therefore the first one is 200 but the first one is a uh, 200 plus 200 then plus twice the sum of the middles the middles are starting from 240 240 plus 240 plus 280 plus 280 plus 240 plus 240 So working out this you get a half multiplied by 200 then 200 plus 200 this is isn't going to give 400 plus twice uh, the sum of 240 plus 280 plus 300 plus 280 plus 240 that will give uh, 1340 then this will be 1 by 2 100 that will be 100 then when you add these 400 plus 2 multiply by that uh, that's in 40 will give you 3080 and when you work out these you get um, 3080 zero, zero, so 308,000 meters squared so that is the area under AB now remember we said that to get the area of that shaded region ABCD we shall get the area under the curve AD subtract the area under the curve AB so the area that we got uh, of DC was 672,000 so 672,000 so now therefore we are getting now the area we are now getting the area so the area the area of uh, ABCD 
therefore will be 672,000. Now subtract 308,000. Simple as that. And this will give, when you subtract these, uh, when you subtract these, these are you going to get? Um, you shall get um, 364, 364,000 meters squared. So that is what you get. But now you have to give the area in hectares. So one thing you're supposed to know is that um, one hectare is made up of 10,000 meters squared. So in order to convert these, we just need to divide. We just need to divide. So one hectare is equivalent to 10,000 meters squared. So therefore, 364,000. We just need to divide this one by 10,000. And this one will give 36. 36.4 hectares so that is the area of ABCD using the trapezium rule so that is uh, what you're supposed to do that part by simply getting the area in two parts so we started by getting the area and um, the curve DC then we have subtracted the area under the curve AB so that you can be left with area ABCD. So that is all about that part of the question. Now we can go to uh, the other part. And uh, the other part is part C. Use the mid ordinate rule with three strips to estimate the area of the piece of land in hectares. Now the mid ordinate rule the mid ordinate rule first thing is to not how, how it is the mid ordinate rule what is the formula the formula the mid ordinate rule is given by a height multiplied by the sum of the ordinates just as simple as that the width over the height multiplied by the sum of the ordinates so also for this one we shall get it into two parts so we shall get um, the area so the area of uh, ABCD would be given by the area under DC the curve DC using the mid ordinary rule then we subtract the area and um, AB using the same rule the mid ordinate rule so for this one um, you just need to go to the diagram so let me see um when you go to the table first or just look at the table uh we require to use the mid ordinate rule so looking at uh, what we have here from zero all the way to 1200 we having six strips now we want to reduce these strips and use three only so what you're going to do you're going to enlarge the size of one strip so instead of one strip beginning from zero to 200 we shall now have a strip uh, starting from zero all the way to 400 so the mid therefore will lie here where we have um, 200 so the other strip will start from 400 to 800 so the mid of that strip will be at 600 the other strip will move from 800 to 1200 so the mid of that strip will be somewhere there so the values that you're going to use therefore in this case uh, for these are uh, for 200 we shall use these and these as the mid ordinates then for 600 uh, we're going to use these values when x is 600 we shall use uh, 300 and 600 then when x is 1000 we shall use uh, 240 and 580 those are the mids so when you go to the diagram when you go to the diagram now this is what i mean uh, instead of having a strip beginning from 0 to 200 because that that interval will give six strips we need to enlarge the size of one strip so now the strip in order to have three strips so we have a strip now beginning from 0 uh, from 0 to 400 that is one strip 
The other strip will begin from 400 to 800. That is the second strip. Then the third strip will begin from 800 to 1200. So you are going to take the mids. Using the mid ordinate rule, we pick the mids, the mid ordinates, the ones that are at the center. So like for example, this strip that starts from 0 to 200 at 400, we shall take 200 as the the mid ordinate then the one that begins from 400 to 800 we are picking the mid as 600 so i can just uh indicate these ones let me just indicate so this will be so this is the mid, the mid that i'm going to pick so now the strip this is the first strip then that is the second strip and then the other strip is there so picking the mids the mids these are the mids that you're going to, to pick so from here not not that one so this is the other mid that you're going to pick here this is the mid that you're going to pick then for this one the the one that starts from 800 to 1200 i'm going to use that so those are the mids. So 200, 600, and 1000. And those are the ones that I've just indicated here. The ones that I've indicated here in star. So you can see them. These are the mids. So we have that one, that one, and that one. So those are the mids. Those are three strips. So this is the first strip, the second strip, and the third strip. So now, knowing that now we can be able to work out. So it is important to note the width of each strip now using the mid only rule where we're using the three strip the width will be from 0 to 400 you can see the width has become bigger the width will be 400 then from 400 to 800 that is a 400 then from 800 to 1200 that is a 400 again so the width has become bigger because the strip has also become bigger so therefore in this case um the width will be so the width of the height will be 400. So let's start by getting the area under DC. The area under DC using the mid ordinate rule. So area will be given by the width, which is a 400, multiplied by the sum of the ordinates, the sum of the ordinates. So here the ordinates are very few they're not many uh, they're not many they're just three so under dc 500 plus 600 plus 580 we have these 500 plus 600 plus 580 so they're just very 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 few so we have um let me just 500 plus 600 plus 580 so working out these this will give a 400 times the sum of these 500 plus 600 plus 580 will give 1680 um, which will give a 672,000 meters squared that is the area under DC the area under DC using the mid ordinate rule now we need to get the area under a b now the area under a b so let us uh, get the area under a b so area area under a b and the area under a b um we shall use uh, look at the ordinates of a b so the first mid ordinate you're going to use uh, the width is still the same it is 400 then the first uh, ordinate will be 240 300 and 240 240 300 and 240 that is uh, what you're going to use so let me go to this so area will be width is 400 then the sum of the ordinates we've just uh, seen them so 240 plus uh, 300 plus 
240. You can just confirm, just for confirmation. They bought 240, 300, and 240. So, the ordinary. so uh, multiplying these, you get 400. Multiply by the sum of these 240 plus 300 plus 240, you give 780. And when you multiply these uh, 400 times 780, you get 312. Thousand meters squared. So that is the area under AB. Now, to get the area under the curve ABCD now using the mid ordinary rule, we shall now get the area, the area of uh, ABCD will be given by the area under, remember what we said, uh, when you go to the diagram here, just for repetition, we are supposed to get the area under the curve DC using the mid ordinate rule, subtract the area under the curve AB using the mid ordinate rule. So the area that we got for DC, uh, for DC, for DC, we've just, we got that one as a 672, can just confirm here, 672,000. So 672,000, then subtract 312,000. And this one will give, um, when you subtract this, it will give um, 360,000 360, meters squared. Converting this one into hectares, we just need to divide by 10,000. Since we said one hectare is equivalent to 10,000 meters squared. So when you divide this, this one gives 36 hectares. So it gives that is six um, hectares and that is uh, simply how you're supposed to have solved that question using the mid ordinate rule and also using the trapezium rule thank you so much